Oh, come on. Good shot. Oh, yes. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, yes. That's what I love to see. See the wave ripple of the troops all falling over and shit. There's a general unit in there somewhere. I just saw his flag pop. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Oh, no. Damn it, they're going after some other unit, I think, maybe. Let's go after one that's in the slap bang in the middle. Well, that was still... That was an alright shot. Come on, good shot to you now. That was a good one. That was a good one. Holy crap, that was satisfying to see. <laughs> Hell yes. This is awesome. And totally brutal as well. Look at them, they're on fire and shit. You're not ambushing anyone being there like that, people. Just saying. I'm ambushing them at, them at this point. <laughs> One of our units has used all its ammunition. Power balance still hasn't moved. Some nice leveling up for my ballasters here. Come on. Good shots here now. Yes. It was a good one. Dudes are on fire. Blood and shit. Piss flying everywhere. Holy cow. <laughs> oh, that was a crap shot. Wasted. Come on. I think this will be the last round it will fire. Good shot. Come on. Good shot. End on a good one. Ah, oh, it was all right. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's it. This is the last one. It's a good shot. No. Archers at the double. Yours to command. Come on, archers, killy killy. Oops, didn't mean to do that. No, didn't mean to do that either. Oh, keep your distance. Keep your distance. We've got the uphill advantage here. This is how the Welsh fought the English. The w English soldiers in their armour had to run uphill to get the Welsh archers. And by the time they got to the top, the archers were able to kill the knights with, like, very little effort. And believe it or not, it was an Englishman um, that was allied with the Welsh that stopped the English from that stopped the Welsh from beating the English. So you even had the English people fighting the English during the Welsh Revolt. And he wanted to claim the English throne and decided to charge without the Welsh King's um, reinforced army that was experienced and they were veterans and fighting in Wales. Um, so yeah, the fault of that battle being lost wasn't on the Welsh soldiers, it was on the English commander that told them to fight and uh, they were totally totally outclassed because the English um, the anti yeah the the, the Welsh um, rebels or yeah what you call the Welsh rebels decided to chase the um, the English that were Our trying to fight for England, not allied with Wales, um, faked to rout off the battlefield and instead when 
all the formation had broken. The ally of Wales, Englishman, decided to charge after them across a marsh land. His soldiers broke in formation and going through mud and all that shit, tired. English king had an army that was used to fighting like that and he told them to stop routing and that was a slaughter and Owain Glyndor didn't have the army to take the English to free Wales so he basically faded into obscurity from then on so yeah if that was interesting if you enjoy medieval history even though we're playing total uh, Rome too, so <laughs> Oh surprise, so I did get a that'll probably be win and ambush battle, probably. I hope I explain that story properly. I feel like I was mumbling. I know the history off by heart, but I just um it's confusing that story to tell because you know it's English versus Welsh, but there's also English people fighting with the Welsh. So yeah, it's kind of weird <laughs> to explain. Oh, completely decimated their army, even though they were experienced as shit. Killed them for that treacherous ambush. Being attacked again? What? This isn't fair. Retreat. I could retreat. Haha. <laughs> Joke's on you. Oh shit, I can't retreat this time. Hmm. Joke's on you, assholes. I was gonna say, but it, yeah, they it, we didn't get away. I think we can hold this one. Definitely, 900 against. They actually don't have as much soldiers as us, and they're all gonna be split up into separate waves. So I think we can handle this nicely. And I don't know how long I've been recording for at this point. Probably seven years. Or something like that. I think it's two hours I've been recording. I'm not sure. Oh, I've got deployables. Yay. Right, I want open ground. Hide my cavalry in the forest. Yeah, I need the most open ground area so I can set up my artillery. I haven't got a clue which way the reinforcements are coming from. Oh shit, Philip. His name's just Philip. He's not got a surname. And he is Spartan Pike, man. So I need to look after Phil. General! Let's just group the Spartan, Spartan Pike men together. Don't break formation. Because we need to switch Phil to the middle. No. Nope. Damn it! General! I've moved him out of the group instead. There we go. Phil will be in the centre. And these dudes are going to be over here. Are these Royal Spartans? No, just Spartan Hoplites. Deployables, okay. Let's have a look. Downhill is against us, so... Yeah. What's the point? It'll just roll into our own troops. If we put these fireballs down... I think they've got cavalry. I'm not sure. Can't remember. Need to be careful that I don't put them in a way that screws my own cavalry over. Which, yeah, I need to be careful actually. Um, behind my artillery so they can't get flanked, maybe. Or over here. Shit. 
two I'll forget about them that's the trouble I'll place them and then I'll forget don't forget then you retard somebody will say oh. <laughs> right oh shit and then I'll forget that I said that in the comment is um, in the video for a joke somebody will quote me I'll think that they're calling me a retard and then they'll get blocked and it'll be a whole retarded mess up. <laughs> Orders understood. Right. I I put that barricade there obviously to defend the general. Brimstone pits. I'm just I never really get the chance to use this because I'm thinking I want to fire arrows at the enemy, not at some fire holes. Right. There's no point in placing them down. Anything else? No units left out. Okay, start battle. If we are victorious and live, I will sacrifice to Zeus and Ares for their favor and help in Enemy our... reinforcements approaching. How dare you interrupt my general speech? Form phalanx! Ocrides! Form phalanx! Pelox! Okay. Ready to rock and roll. Our souls are going the wrong way. You're not supposed to walk the wrong way when. Oh, wait, they're forming up with a bigger army, aren't they? Hope my guy's experience pays off here. I'm enjoying that these wars are more challenging, challenging than before. Because the broken AI made it sort of not as challenging as it could be. And, yeah. So it's pretty cool. I also love the graphics, man. Look at the atmosphere. Okay, totally lost sight of them. Which could be an issue. Yeah, they're forming up. There's going to be like a huge lump of troops appear somewhere. Spartan pikes on the outside. Okay. It's a shame they don't have the Corinthian helmets on. This guy does. Yeah, Corinthian helmet's a badass. <laughs> I was actually thinking about buying one because, like, as a ornament type thing. But they are extremely expensive to buy if you want a good one, anyway. Wait, actually, I thought that was going to happen. They're going to move formation. Need to watch out for this artillery piece. They are actually quite deadly, so don't fire at will yet. We'll fire at will. Oh shit! Our Firing out the tree line. Attack. Not good. Oh shit! Fill it. No. This is bullshit. How come they, they've got more range because they're on a slightly higher incline than me? Oh joy. And... My troops are getting absolutely hammered. Right, that's it. Cavalry time. Send them up the alley. This is stupid. That was a... Ironically, I, I say that they're deadly and like a second later, a shitload of my troops just get affected by it. Evasive maneuvers time. They're in the shelter of the trees now, and there's probably spearmen and all sorts of bullshit around them. Protect them. Good ones down. Citizen cavalry! 
there's a unit up there. What are they just for the hell of it? Old Swan. Great. <laughs> Typical. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. This is units. cold blooded. Shit. Oh, lots. Lots, lots. Okay. Don't just fire at those troops. Fire at those troops. Alright, that ballista is out of action, I think, now. So I can safely fall back. This battle's intense as well. I, in this recording session, I think I've done more battles than most recording sessions that I've done. Oh, this is brutal again. Alright, let's reform my lines. Let's get the field artillery back behind the infantry. They're going to come through the tree lines any minute. Oh. oh, it's just the crew charging. Lol. Good. We destroyed all their equipment in that massive bombardment. Which is great. I need to get my pikes to steady. Aha! Okay, they were extremely close to be not seen. <laughs> Logic. Go for these slingers. Alright, let's get my bikes to We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Actually, I'm gonna... Shit. Do I like these pits? Are they gonna light them? Oh, they're spreading out to light them. Okay. Now that they're lit... Okay, three of them are lit. Oh, it's better than nothing. Old Swan are touching my cavalry. Bastards. That sounds like the uh, uh, general is retreating. General is about to rout by the sounds of it. I know it sounds silly say, um, after we hear him saying that, but that's just how it is. Oh, dude, get these firing on that. Chase these guys down in the process as well. Get till, uh, kill two birds, one stone. It's kind of a messed up saying when you think about it. It means that somebody would have to have killed enough birds to realise that... Oh, what? that would make a good saying. Oh shit, totally flanked. No, wrong unit. Point blank stabby stabby time. Citizen cavalry. Go after these guys. This is brutal. But totally awesome. Spartan, One of our units has used all its ammunition. Alright, stop firing now, they're too close. Still more units, I think. Somewhere hiding. Speed. 
And now we completely surround them. So we didn't retreat last time, it was just a strategic withdrawal. Now I'm going to split up the cavalry this time and kill them off more efficiently. If I end the battle just like that now, do I still get all those kills that are surrounded? Probably not, so let's just uh, get on that. Hidden units have been discovered. Come on, get some kills, you conehead bastards. Run, Forrest, run! <laughs> Whilst he's under arrow fire. The enemy general is it me, is or is the dead. blood mod hardly even showing? Well, actually, now to say that, there's like massive piles of blood to that. Oh no! Exactly what I thought would happen happened. I forgot about these. Nine cavalry units. The enemy general is dead. Great, that's exactly what I wanted. And my citizen cav are being destroyed by my own archers. God damn it. My incompetence knows no bounds. Rinse and repeat on this side. <laughs> Move ready and waiting. Get out of there then for a bit. Oh shit, that was a good volley that time. I dropped quite a few of them. Alright, let's just fast forward now. That's That unit is utterly destroyed. And now we just wait for everyone else to run away. Or I could just quit the battle. There we go. End battle. I don't think we didn't actually gain any territory so far in this recording, but um, yeah, this is. Uh, I think we've crippled them, like the enemies were fighting, because we've destroyed their armies repeatedly. And I wonder how many of these will drop now. One, two, two drops. I'm actually wondering whether I can take that settlement with this depleted army. That would be a cool challenge. Um, I'm going to kill these guys. Let's have a look in the next turn what the situation is. Because I could retreat or I could attempt a siege of that settlement. Oh, cool. Great, so this now means we have got access to um, Periokoi um, swordsmen when we can recruit them. When we can build the building, I mean. Right, let's get these swordsmen. His name's Hippocrates. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> no matter what, I lose support. 
apart from the statesman, which is was I was actually tempted to go with anyway. Because he's got quite a lot of good stats there. Plus one food, plus four public order, plus one growth. Morale bonuses. Tax bonuses. Yeah, let's go with that. Where is that army actually? Now I'm looking on it. Aha, these are over here. That's a risky thing. I could possibly attack that because my ally's right there. My ally's going to take that settlement, I think. At your command. Make haste, men. Oh, damn. I didn't actually let go right-click, but it used the move anyway. Forgive me, but I cannot. Okay. More cavalry recruited, that's good. Alright, let's just check how long I've been playing. Nearly two hours. Okie dokie. I think I'm going to call it um, a day for this recording session. Ready for battle. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. And remember to leave likes and comments and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.